pack your bag and join us as we find some really fun things to do along Seneca Lake in New York State in the Finger Lakes region Cheers. in the winter time. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Welcome to Seneca Lake. It's about five degrees Fahrenheit and it's January and it's very pretty but very cold. But I'm gonna pop the drone up and see if I can get some shots of this place and around this place because, well, it's pretty. Seneca Lake is 35 miles long, three miles wide, 630 feet deep and holds 4.2 million gallons of water. It only freezes once every century on average. Seneca Lake accounts for 50% of the entire Finger Lakes water volume. And the moderation resulting from it makes vineyards thrive. So it's pretty easy on a cold winter day to go to the Cuyuca Outlet Trail and you'll find basically nobody around. It's super quiet, and really fun, and there's a lot of cool stuff to see. We're on the Cuyuca Lake Outlet Trail. And it's crispy. So Chuck, how do you feel today? It's cold. <laughs> but pretty. 13 degrees right now. Yeah. 13 Fahrenheit. But you know what? I shouldn't say this, but it's not bad because we don't have any wind. So we're heading for Seneca Falls. Yes. Three tenths of a mile. So let's do this. All right, we're doing it. And then of course there's the falls themselves. We're checking out the map. Yeah, so we should definitely go to Cascade Mall. All right, let's go to Cascade Mall. It was a nice little hike to go from the parking lot to the Cascade Mill Falls ruins. We had a lot of fun doing it. Greetings from Cascade Mill Falls. I think it's Cascade Mill, isn't it? Is it the Cascade Falls Mill? Or Cascade Mill Falls? I think it's Cascade Falls. Cascade Falls Mill. Yeah, that's what it is. And this little drone here, the Mavic 3, is going to go up and poke around a little bit. But hopefully not really physically poke anything, just see. See you guys come along. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's at Cascade Mills where you'll find the abandoned Baker Chemical Company's carbon basulfide plant. The mill was built by Meredith Mallory around 1827. In 1835, it was processing grain worth over $45,000 each year. Sadly, in 1843, it was forced into bankruptcy. The runes were set for demolition in 2021, so we figured there's not much time to check them out, so we did. It says, it says keep out, no trespassing. But as I say, somebody but pulled the, the fence down. Gates down, fences down. How can we not? We can check it out. We have to. It's for the good of science, mankind, humanity. We're going in. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, we definitely shouldn't have been in here. But how could we not be in here? I mean, check this out. All the brickwork, old abandoned mill. It was pretty cool to see the skeleton of the building while it still stood. I'm still glad we really checked it out. And we didn't die, which is even better. heading to Castle Grish to see the Lantern Festival and it should be pretty cool. I 
a little different than last year. If you want to see last year's, I'll share the link. Castle Grish Winery is located almost to Watkins Glen on the west shore of Seneca Lake. They do a really cool lantern festival in the wintertime, and it's definitely worth checking out. For more information, you can check out the description of this video. We're going to Anthony Road, and we're on, this is Anthony Court, I think. Okay, we're gonna do a fun tasting. Yeah, we're gonna taste some wine. So we're at Anthony Road Winery, and we're going in for a tasting. I'm going in with this masked woman again. I don't know who the hell she is. <laughs> yeah, we're going in. And I keep following him. Yeah, we've been here before. This place is pretty cool. Should we go in? Yeah. It's a good thing it's not busy because I didn't realize you needed an appointment. All right, well, I can put my mask on. Go ahead. Take exit 42 of the New York State Thruway and head south through Geneva. In about 35 minutes, you'll be at Anthony Road Winery. They do a reverse pairing where you have to guess the wines that you're tasting based on the characteristics in the name. It was really fun and we had to give it a try. Anything about the wines, obviously. It's classified. It is classified. <laughs> so I can tell you that these are white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're good so far. This yeah. is red. Okay. So swirl them, smell them, taste them, use your knowledge about your wines. I already have a thought on it. You think it's a diversity meter, don't you? No, I was going to say Pinot Green. Pinot really? Green. You think it's the a Pinot Green? One. Why, because the fruit? And then this, this, um, I guess just the flavor, I can't really even explain. The colors. I could be wrong though. Actually, I'm not sure what the, I hate to say, I don't know what the third one is. All right, area 51. Area 51.
Riesling. <laughs> I bet you. Well, I've been tasting it. Oh, I didn't smell it. Here, anything. just sort of smell it. Can you smell it or taste it? Or both? Maybe I'm totally wrong. Sniff. Stick your nose in it. It smells like Riesling. Yeah. Actually, I didn't smell the other one. I probably should have. Yeah. Yep. But there's more than one Riesling, though. There's two. So, um... So to figure out which one. Crap. This is tough, because <laughs> there's two Rieslings. Yeah. There's a Skin Ferment Riesling, and there's... What's the other one? Riesling dry. dry. Well, it's not terribly dry. I don't know what their definition of dry is. It's a tricky one. But wouldn't the color be darker if it was, like, Skin Ferment? Cause there's like, there'd be, See, I'm not sure it's, what's... it'd be red. No, it's like, um, if the skins were in it, it'd be for color and they're not there. So I'm saying number two. Mm. Yeah, I'm saying it's a dry reason. It's my final answer. <laughs> it does taste dry though. I've had sweeter ones. I think it is a dry. All right, so. The Bermuda Triangle. Mm, you got the red one. Yeah. So wait, take 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 your time with this one because no, um, that you should be better at because you're. I don't know. Sometimes it's like, you're better with the reds. Those are all reds on the list, and like the color looks kind of like um, well, Cabernet maybe, Franc. But well, to to differentiate between one and two might be a little tricky. Well, it's not a Merlot. <laughs> you remind me of the guy. It's from, not a Pinot. You're like the guy from. Sarah. What? No, no, I'm laughing. Here, smell it. The, the guy from Sideways. Smell it. Stick your nose in there. <laughs> Just gonna say we're having fun. How are we doing? We're probably failing the test, but it's still fun. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah, it's the best test to fail ever. <laughs> I drink it wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first time we've ever tried to guess at the wine, so it's fun. Yeah, I mean, normally they, they tell, tell you what yes. it is. Yeah. It's, so we, is the, we've never done like, it this way. So. This is like Alice in Wonderland wine tasting. <laughs> we have a lot of people that will get together with friends and they'll buy a couple bottles and they put them in bag. All right. Think. All right, we're good. We'll wait for our, wait for our results. Look at the testing results. Yeah, so you have to, you have to. Hey, you ready? We are. We're ready to see, we're ready how, to we see how good or bad. How we do. <laughs> Number one was Gruner. This one? Yep. Oh. Gruner, but no, no. Okay. Uh oh. Number <laughs> two was Pinot Gris. No way. Your way. Uh -oh. Wow, that's a, a, number three was barrel ferment shard. Oh no! <laughs> it seemed too fruity for that. Our shard's pretty fruity. Okay. We're doing badly. We are. We were failing. <laughs> this one was Lemberger. Lori oh. got it. She got it Yay. right. I got it wrong. <laughs> it was the straight one, right? Okay. And the last one was the dry vignoles, the gray series vignole. That's, yeah, we're very, we're very bad about identifying that one. Uh-oh. Okay, so, so I got so one. So you, you failed, I really failed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel she, bad. She then. beat me. So we did pretty bad. I got one. You got one. I got the one burger. You know, like, fail. This I never heard fail. of. Fail. Fail. Lori got this one right. Fail. So how do you feel about failing? I got one. <laughs> you got one. Does that count? Yeah, I guess that counts. Well, I was hoping we get at least... Two? Two, but three was the prize. Three was the prize? I think so, you had to get three. Oh, we got a prize, all right. Yeah, you had to get three out of five. You got the booby prize. To Anthony Road. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so we're going into Big Alice Brewing. We're over here, yeah. Beer time, it's beer time. Place looks pretty cool, I like it. Yeah, it'll be fun. Check this place out. Big Alice Brewing began production in January 2013 in Brooklyn, New York. The Finger Lakes location opened on May of 2021. Located in Geneva, New York, it's not too far south of the New York State Thruway on Route 14 and kind of hard to miss, but definitely worth a stop. Lori and I had a lot of fun tasting beer here. It's going in pretty fast, as always. 
trying to get out of the cold. Can I have a masked woman again? Yes, masked woman. We're going to Big Alice. All right. And I'm excited because I think there's one also in Brooklyn, New York. Ooh, I didn't know that. Okay. So that's, I think that's true. All right, let's, well, let's go. You want to sit out here or is it chilly for you? It's a little chilly out here. I think we'll sit inside today. Going in. Hey. Good. So we're Big Alice Brewing, based out in New York, and we're gonna try some. We're gonna do a flight. We're doing this flight right here. Yes, and then you have a, there's a brewery in Queens. Queens and Brooklyn. We thought just New York City, but they've covered two corners of New York City. Yeah. Maybe we could try. <laughs> I don't pick up anything except the toppy. This one is Queensbridge IPA, right here. Well, it's an IPA. All right. No, it's just really... Mm. Yeah. And it's hops. And there's anything crazy about it. It's just like a textbook idea. Well, okay. Dankness, yeah, it has dankness going. No, that one, right. You know your, I got your dank. This one's kind of really crazy. This one is jalapeno rye right here. It's so dark. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty it dark. It looks like a porter. It does look like a porter. But, um, she's, she's Ooh. It's not hot. Oh, this jalapeno rye is crazy. Uh, last one we're going to try. BQX. BQX. And that, I think, is double. This is a double bubble. Double X. Yeah. <laughs> This is, this is dangerously smooth, smooth move, really smooth. It's like a yeah, so here's the Big Alice. Cheers. Cheers. Good stuff. I think we'll be back. Sure we will. Maybe in the summer. Maybe in the summer. Hope you enjoyed our antics. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. And click that like button on the way out. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Bye, guys.